Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 8 and the DC TV shows as a whole. Today we're going to be talking a bit about DC fandom and what to expect, so if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so DC fandom happened last year for the first time. This was all due to the pandemic. If it wasn't for the pandemic, you know, Warner Brothers and DC would be premiering all of their events at Comic Con in San Diego normally, and sometimes even if they're coming out later, they would do a panel at New York Comic Con, and that's pretty much how they normally operate. However, due to the pandemic, it was announced that DC would be doing their own event, and that turned out to be DC Fandom, and it was a pretty damn good event where you had so many panels about the DC TV shows, the DC films, comic books, and so on and so forth. There was lots. So DC Fandom is going to be returning this year, since San Diego Comic Con didn't go on in the summer, which actually aligns very well for a lot of these shows, because it means that they're going to have time to get footage ready by then to release trailers. So it will be returning on Saturday, October 16th at 10am Pacific Standard Time. And so this is going to be exclusively on DC Fandom's website. And it's not going to happen like last year in two segments. It's going to be all on that one day unless there is some sort of late announcement. However, we are nearly a month away from DC Fandom. So I doubt that they're going to make any major changes as right now. It will also be available on their Twitch, YouTube, Facebook and Twitter, so there's going to be lots of ways that you can see. So apparently at this event, as always, like last year, Warner Brothers and DC will be showcasing some very highly anticipated titles with new trailers and looks at like new films like The Batman, Aquaman and Lost Kingdom, Shazam! Fury of the Gods, and in terms of the TV shows, you'll get new looks at seasons of Batwoman, The Flash, Superman Lois, a farewell tribute to Supergirl, and a celebration of DC's Legends of Tomorrow as they hit their 100th episode. And also, there's going to be a first look coming at the new CW show, Naomi, and a sneak peek at an upcoming episode of Stargirl. So this was all announced recently and this obviously is big because it confirms yes we're going to be getting new looks at new seasons of our favourite DC TV shows including Batwoman, The Flash, Superman, Lois, Supergirl is going to be getting a final panel, Legends of Tomorrow is going to get a celebration of its 100th episode and then Naomi we're going to get a first look at and Stargirl. So let's just break it down bit by bit. So. Obviously Batwoman, you're going to get a look at Season 3, which will continue on from the way that Season 2 ended. That's going to be exciting. Obviously, along with these panels, you're going to have the trailer being dropped, which they'll probably play at the start of the panel, and then they'll go on to talk about it, and they'll tease some of the upcoming things that they have planned in the season. And with Stargirl, it's going to be a new look at an upcoming episode, because Stargirl wouldn't have finished by the time of DC Fandom, and that goes along with Supergirl, which will probably release a new look at the upcoming episode, but it will also be more of a celebration of the show, because it's going to be Supergirl's final panel ever. Like, they're not going to get to go back to San Diego Comic Con as a whole cast because the show's not going to be on by the time that eventually happens. And, you know, in terms of me, I feel very privileged that I was actually at the final Supergirl panel and obviously we expected two more panels at least until Supergirl ended, but due to the pandemic, that never happened. But it's nice to see that they're at least giving them going away goodbye panel. Superman Lois would have started filming its season two episodes by then. I believe that they are back on set as of right now, and we're at the start of September, nearly approaching midway. So by the time of like the middle of next month, they would have at least filmed about one and maybe just like half of episode two. So they will have footage and they will be able to cut together a trailer. See, the thing is normally when they release trailers back how they used to do it at San Diego Comic Con, they would be only filming for like a week and a bit and then they would fly the entire cast down to San Diego to do the panel and they would release a trailer but the trailers wouldn't be that big, they would tease stuff, but it would tease exclusively episode 1 footage. But in the case of Superman Lois, they're going to film a bit more, and I think in the case of 
the flash specifically, they're going to have even more, so they can be very selective about what they show. But we'll get onto the flash in just a minute. So that's what's going to happen. You're going to probably get a season two trailer and first look at Superman Lois at DC Fandom, and we're pretty sure Superman Lois is coming out in January at the mid season. And so in terms of Legends of Tomorrow, it's going to be a celebration of its 100th episode. And I don't know if there's going to be any footage or new looks. We will have to see. I don't know the specific schedule for Legends this season because I haven't been following it. But I'm very excited about Naomi, which is going to be getting a first proper good look. We're probably expecting a trailer here. I'm looking forward to seeing that and I'm going to break it down on the channel once it's released because I'm very much so anticipating the show. And so let's move on to The Flash. Now, specifically, The Flash has been filming for quite a while now. The cast has been back and they've been filming the crossover episodes. We know that Cress Williams was in Vancouver shooting as Black Lightning. We've seen Brandon Ralph on the set. So we're going to get a first look not only at the first episode of Season 8, we're going to be getting a first look at the CW's big crossover this year. So it's very likely, and we're going to just theorize a little bit here about what we could see in that trailer, a first look at the villain of the crossover, Despero. So we've seen some behind the scenes look at the actor and some cardboard cutouts, but potentially they want to tease him actually coming into the show and what his plans are so you'll get some story details. Normally they keep it quite vague and it's going to be mainly like cool moments that they want to show in the trailer. So maybe like the Flash suiting up and a look at the team members that are going to be around this season and just some general shots of what they filmed and it doesn't have to necessarily be things that they want people to get excited about. They're just going to cut together a trailer which normally averages out to be about one minute or so give or take. So it's definitely more of a teaser trailer because they're not going to reveal big pieces of information but in the case of the crossover trailer this year I think that they could show new looks at some of the returning characters because people know a lot about it. They even went as far as to announce who was actually going to show up in this crossover so it's not much of a mystery anymore so they could totally release footage with them in it. And that would definitely get fans excited and I think it would be a missed opportunity if they didn't include some of those people like maybe the Atom or maybe Black Lightning. You know, people are looking forward to seeing them crossing over with The Flash, especially since they're not on a show right now and they are technically returning Arrowverse characters. But it's more so of a teaser trailer because they're not going to reveal lots of pieces of information. But it's not really a promo because promos tend to be about 15 to 30 seconds long. It's going to be a bit longer than that. And obviously as with all of these panels as I just mentioned before, there's going to be a panel with The Flash. Last year they teased a lot. Not everything came to fruition. Like I think Eric Wallace specifically talked about the Golden Boots coming. That's still a possibility for this season but nothing has been confirmed as of right now and you know they're going to do the same old same old and we're going to get some talk about who's going to be the villain and the way that the story is aiming maybe some of the themes is going to be revealed by Eric Wallace and maybe how it's going to be different how it's going to be similar to the past season and basically anything that's coming up so it's an exciting time and I really enjoy DC Fandom they'll release probably some more promos and teasers to remind people DC Fandom is happening once again on Saturday, October 16th at 10 a.m. PST, which translates to 5 p.m. GMT UK time. So you can translate it to whatever time zone you're from. Obviously, not all of the shows are going to be releasing their panels and their promos at the same time. They're going to be one by one and there will be a schedule sometime soon. We don't have the schedule as of right now, so I can't give you those specifics. But when they do release, I will be sure to make a video because it's very important. Obviously, we're all going to be watching and trying to check out the panels when they come because we want to hear the specific teasers and we want to see the promo, obviously, which is, you know, the big thing about these events has always been the promos, but also getting to see the cast and the showrunner talk about all the specifics that are going to be coming up in the next season. But that about does it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new to not miss any videos. You can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.
icy road.